Kenya media sector working group has expressed concern following what it calls sustained attacks directed to the media by a section of Kenya Kwanzaa leaders. In a joint praise statement, the coalition noted that the consistent attacks on the media are attempts to divert public attention from widespread theft of public funds and other governance challenges facing the new administration. And as Alice Diana now reports, the Kenya media sector working group now wants President William Ruto to issue a firm assurance that government officials will not be allowed to seek shelter by trying to silence the media that exposes their misdeeds. Trade and Industrialization Cabinet Secretary Moses Kuria's continued attack on media has been strongly criticized by different media bodies, a section of political leaders and Kenyans at large. The CS has come under sharp criticism after he launched an attack against the Nation Media Group after he was linked to multi-million cooking oil saga. In a joint press briefing on Tuesday, the Kenya Media Sector Working Group, KMSWG, a coalition of key media sectors bringing together journalists and other civil society organizations, hit out at Korea and a section of Kenya Kwanzaa leaders, saying the most recent attacks have been triggered by an expose of corruption in government and other stories projecting voices demanding accountability on the part of the government. The media has a sacred responsibility to the people of Kenya and thus will continue without fear to report on public issues and projects that, and project the different voices in society as well as speak truth to the power. We read the consistent attacks on the media as attempts to divert public attention from widespread theft of public funds and other governance challenges facing the new administration. They have urged the government to stop targeting and intimidating the media, which is only discharging its responsibility to the public. Instead, they want the government to respond to concerns by Kenyans on the scandals exposed by media in the past 10 months. To respond to concerns by Kenyans on the scandals exposed by the media in the past 10 months, which include diversion of condemned sugar into the market, repackaging and sale of subsidized fertilizer, Questions over KEMSA, especially on the mosquito nets funds, concerns over the management of NHIF, which have rendered it unable to serve Kenyans, the questions over favorism in the duty-free commodity imports, including edible oils, maize, and rice. While stating that the media never took a collective position in support of any specific candidate in the 2022 elections, the media sector group has called on the government to stop the continued hostile political rhetoric against the media and journalists and urged those aggrieved by the media to seek redress through the Media Complex Commission established under the Media Council Act and where necessary through the courts. We view this as an attempt to blackmail and um, twist the media into seizing scrutiny of the government and those wielding power and authority. As media, we affirm our commitment to discharging our role, including holding this regime to account for the good of Kenyans, as we have done previous regimes since independence, and restate that we will not be cowed into submission. KMSWG has also indicated that it will be going to court so that some leaders can be declared unfit to hold office. This, as the opposition has Imola Umoja One Kenya coalition, called on the Senate to find CS Kuria unfit to hold an office of high calling at the level of a cabinet secretary. Kuria is expected to appear before Senate on Wednesday morning after being summoned over the raging war with nation media. We also call on President William Ruto to issue and firm assurance that they will not be allowed to seek shelter by trying to silence the media that exposes their misdeeds. We are also calling on the international community to intervene and protect media freedom. For Hope TV News Watch, I'm Alice Diana.